At school, we all learned about static electricity, this invisible buildup of electrical energy that manifests as a spark when discharged. I'm sure we've all walked across a nylon carpet or been on an escalator, only to have received a shock when our finger touched. Ooh, wow. The handrail. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now, as a kid, I learned how to harness static electricity and then use it to perform a number of experiments that looked almost magical to my friends. I realized that a small amount of electrical charge could make certain objects behave in strange and unusual ways. You can almost feel the electricity in the air. Thank you. Much greater voltages can, of course, be created with machinery. But the greater the voltage, the greater the power and the greater the risk. This device creates and then delivers charges of up to 1.2 million volts onto anyone who touches it. Very much the same thing that happens in nature when massive invisible electrical discharges create lightning. And McPartland, could I ask you to join me on stage, please? <laughs> lightning, on that note. Stand right there for me, please, if you don't mind, on my left. Turn and face me, hold your right arm out, point your finger towards me, if that's okay. In a moment, I'm going to ask you to bring your finger as close as you can to the palm of my hand without touching. Does that make sense? Yes. OK, here we go. What was you that? feel that? Yes. No more shocks, no more shocks, I promise. Now, this device allows me to do so much more. Uh, on that table beside you, there's a light bulb. Grab that for me, please, if you don't mind. Hold it in your left hand by the base. Stand just in front of the table there like that, just in front of your face so we can all see it. OK. Lovely. Then again, yeah. hold your finger out, point it towards me, please. OK. Once more. down behind you. The judges, just to ensure stringent scientific test conditions for this next experiment, I'd like to ask you all to give your hands a quick sanitize for me, please. And then if you would all join me up on the stage. Thank you very much indeed. And if you could take a small step forward for me, yes. please. I really enjoyed playing with static electricity, but the science inside me has wondered, could I uh, harness that excess electrical energy and then use it maybe to bring something about. Alicia, please, right over here. If you could stand on that green cross right there for me. Amanda, if you could stand right here for me, please, if you don't mind. Ashley, if you could stand just over here for me, please, if you don't mind. And David, if you could stand just over there for me, please, on that green cross. Lovely. Just as in nature, lightning is invisible until it physically sparks. I wondered, can I reverse the process? and take a physical object and turn it back into invisible energy. Um, turn and face the center of the, cent the circle. And turn and face me, please, if you don't mind. There's a jug there. Just grab that for me with your left hand, if you don't My mind. Left hand, your yeah. left hand. Lift it up. Make sure there's no water inside of it. Water nope. conducts. We absolutely don't want that. <laughs> then hold it just in the center of the box for okay. me, just about there. Judges, could you hold your fingers out like this for me, please, if you don't mind? Lovely. Point your fingers for me. And Alicia, could you place your left hand for me on the orb? Just like this, lovely. Ashley, if you could place your right hand on the orb for me. Ashley, David, can you touch fingers now, please? Oh, wait. Should we David, Anne, fingers. can you touch fingers now, please? And Alicia, can you, Amanda? Amanda, you ready? Yeah. Mm, here we go. Now, if my calculations are correct and we maintain contact, this jug should turn invisible. Ah? Huh? And you can pop that back in the Thank box you. and return to safety. Thank oh. you very much indeed. Uh, this happened in the lab too, and it got me thinking, not enough power. So that's why I invented this. If you'd like to follow me, please, judges, just over here, please. You'll see four mats. Uh, David, if you could stand on this mat here for me, please. Alicia, if you could stand right beside David. Amanda, this is your one, and Ashley, this is yours. Thank you very much indeed. Now, these mats are here for your safety, so please don't step off them. And uh, absolutely don't touch anything on stage. Okay. In a moment, I'm going to charge myself to a dangerously high level. 
once charged, I'm going to cover myself with an anti-static blanket, which should contain the charge. I'm then going to try and complete this circuit. Charge up the pylons. Ready. Judges, please stay on your mat. You should be safe there. I'll complete the circuit in three, two, one! Ashley, what did you think? Well, uh, firstly, um, I love the fact that people are just making, someone is making science cool. Like, I kind of did a physics degree and I love science, I'm a bit of a nerd, so anytime I see people making science cool and inspiring people to kind of get into science, especially mixing it with performance, I am just super excited and your audition was literally one of the most exciting moments I have ever seen. And with this tonight, I can see how much prep and time and thought has gone into it, but my honest opinion is that whole act felt like one long introduction, one long build-up without the really big payoff moment. Like, it was, it was so well put together, but the level of this competition and some of the magic that we have seen so far has such hard-hitting punchlines. I think this just fell short. OK, thanks, Ashley. David? I enjoyed it. I, mean, I, think, I think being part of it is often bit distracting for us judges because obviously we're not watching it. We couldn't see it all. But I thought you did some really amazing, um, I don't know what you call them, scientific illusions in there. I did feel sorry for Deck though, who was not given any oh, role whatsoever. Shame, wasn't it? Oh, we shit. all got involved. What is, what is it about him? Is what? it is, is it because light? he's too small to conduct anything? <laughs> <laughs> he's electricity as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, th I think he did well. I mean, I found it at times hard to follow, but I think maybe just because we were part of yes. it and so we weren't looking at it. But I think he did very well. For me, if I'm being honest, I did prefer the audition, but having said that, I think you created a really, really good atmosphere in the room. It was all mysterious, we didn't know what was coming next, and I really, really loved that. And I love that you kept it interesting and different and you mixed it up, so I really appreciated that. Following on from what Ashley said, I think you're making it cool. Mm -hmm. And I think absolutely. if there were more people like you in schools, I think more children yes, would be interested absolutely. in science it's as important. well, because it's very educational and entertaining at the same time. So thank you very much. Thanks, Alicia. Yes. I couldn't agree more. And nobody will remember this person except for me, but I just loved watching Johnny Ball when I was me little. Too, because yes. he made so many things so interesting. And you kind of have the same sort of energy. And I, I agree with everybody. what everybody said here. Personally, I preferred your audition because it felt very dangerous and very thrilling. It was odd to be part of it, but I do appreciate all the prep and all the intellect that it took to put into this. But I do see your career doing something completely fabulous and going somewhere else. Thanks, Amanda. Thank, Thank you, you judges. judges. Kevin, what is your problem with Deck? Well, 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 I mean, everybody else was involved. I had no problem at all with Deck. I'd love <laughs> to have him involved. I'm sure it's nothing personal. <laughs> it was <laughs> more about symmetry than anything else. Oh, okay. Uh, nothing, cool. um, nothing personal. No, nothing at all. No offence taken. <laughs> Um, Next uh, what, round. what was it like to be in it? Was it quite weird to be in the middle that, of it? That really scared me. That really freaked oh, yeah, me out when that, when that, that went. Was, yeah, me too. Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can make sure Kevin is back here for the final by following the details on screen, but not until the judges have chosen their favourite actor.